Hi, thanks for gardening with me. I'm Melissa and today we're going to talk about herbs. Do you plant herbs in your garden? And if you don't have a garden, you could also plant them in pots uh, and keep them on your patio. Herbs are not very particular about the kind of soil that they have. And it's very nice when you're cooking to be able to go outside in your garden, clip off some fresh herbs and cook with them so much different than cooking with the dried herbs that you get in the store. You can create your own Italian seasoning blend. You can create um, so many recipes with fresh herbs and you'll really notice the difference in taste. So this herb is sage. Um, very easy to grow. It will get huge over the summer. Um, one of the things that most notably come to mind for sage is sausage. So it's really great when you're making any kind of Italian dish. This herb is rosemary. The thing that I use rosemary mostly for is chicken. We just love the way that it tastes in chicken. Um, I'll just cut off a big skewer of this and put in the chicken and then take it out when it's done. Uh, you can also, after it gets a little more mature towards the end of the summer, the branches get really stiff and you can use them to make um, chicken kebabs on the grill and it gives it a really great flavor. This herb is dill and you would mostly recognize this flavor in pickles but it's also used in soups and this is one of the herbs that you actually store frozen. This herb is oregano and um, it's mostly noted in Italian cooking. Um, it has a really great flavor to it. And this herb is thyme, and I mostly use this in soups and things like that. Um, a lot of people grow this as a decoration. They use it around stepping stones and things and use it as a ground cover. And this herb is parsley. It's also used in a lot of Italian cooking. Um, it's also used a lot of times as decoration on a plate. This is oregano and I like to hang my herbs to dry. That way they keep all of their essential oils. When you use a dehydrator or any kind of heat to dry your herbs, a lot of those essential oils escape and you might as well get the health benefits from them, right? So you just um, bundle them like that, store them in a cool place that's dry. Um, I'll keep mine in my basement and they should be dry in a couple of weeks. So fennel is done a little bit differently. Fennel I like to store in the freezer. So what I do is I just strip the leaves off, which is very easy to do, and take a little pinch of them of what a single use would be and just plop it in your ice tray. Then after the ice cubes form, then what you'll want to do is just take them out, put them in a Ziploc baggie and just keep them in the freezer. And then you'll have a single use of dill whenever you need it. So there you have it. I have all of my herbs prepared. My dill is in ice trays and I will stick those in the freezer. Then I have oregano, cilantro, thyme, rosemary, and parsley. And those I'm just gonna hang in the basement for a couple weeks and wait for them to dry. And after they are dry, I'll just take them and put them in an airtight container, probably a, um, a mason jar, and then I'll have fresh herbs throughout the whole winter. Thanks for gardening with me, and have a blessed week.